other were smashing each other over the head with wooden swords. I pursued my studies, something for which you knocked me. That's a quote from Dragons of the Dwarven, St Dwarven Deaths, a book in the Dragonlance Chronicles by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. This book is about the companions, a group of people who are destined to bring peace to Kryn, a continent which has been heavily scarred by turmoil and internal anguish. People are dying everywhere, and not, nothing can save them from the dragons that are roaming about the land. These people are now trying on their quest to find the Hammer of Karas, which is a powerful hammer which can be used to forge dragon lances, which are be which can be used to kill dragons. Noth no one but them is destined to save it, because with the gods returning to the to the world of Kryn, they have been blessed with special powers. The dwarf Flint Fireforge is one of the is one of the people who is destined to lead a great life. Unfortunately, his will be cut short when a god visits him in his sleep with a dire warning that he his life is soon over. The group of companions has led their way into the castle known as Skullcap, where they seek to recover magical artifacts and search for where to find the hammer. Unfortunately, it's nowhere to be found. But mysterious things happen to Raistlin and his brother Cameron fears for him, because Raistlin betrayed him before. And Cameron wonders what will become of him. Tannis Half Elven, one of the other companions, has some strife with Sturm Brightblade, a knight of Salamnia, who has agreed to accompany them. They all reach, make their way into the tomb of King Duncan eventually, and before they have a chance to see if the, t the hammer is actually there, they are found by the dwarves. And they are taken as prisoners of war because there is currently a dwarven civil war going on. No one has any idea what will become of them. And after many attempts on their life, neither do, neither do the heroes. That, that's dra dra Dragons of the Dwarven Deaths by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. The story really sucked me in, and I'm sure it will for you.